Uh, we're joined now by maths teacher and puzzle enthusiast Bobby Siegel. Good Very morning. good morning to you, Bobby. Good morning. Um, so some people, let's let's do with some basics here. Some people get a little bit alarmed by the idea of a puzzle mm. and a, a brain teaser or whatever. What's the what's a helpful approach? Mm. It, we'll do the answers in yes. a minute. By the way, we'll come to the answers. But by way of approach, how do you advise people? So I would tell if you're approaching a puzzle, there's two ways of going about it. One, I'd call it the brute force way. That's where you sort of sit down, get the pen and paper. You're like writing out all your ideas, crunching through the numbers, maybe getting a dictionary, using Google, and you're just analytically going through every single possible solution. So that's the brute force. Okay. I would say like logical way. But the second way is, I'd call it the serendipitous way. And that's where you might look at the puzzle, give it a few hours, a week or two, and it comes to you in like a epiphany in the shower, it could do. So you need those two, because you know those moments on a puzzle where sometimes like, oh, I've got the answer. And I think don't discount the serendipitous as well as the... I rather like that approach because it removes... Because you might feel pressure to get the answer straight away. So remove the pressure, just open the mind and relax. Exactly. Like, again, as a maths teacher, I know that many of my students... The Nag is a brilliant one. Most of my students have maths anxiety. They, Hello. You, you, you didn't do the maths. You, you, have, you, you, you didn't you, do you, it. You, you, didn't you study. missed the challenge. But you can always be... We're all mathematicians. We're all, like, working out timetables, checking how long to put the meat in the, in the cooker. But I think um, with maths, people get anxiety. And I think with puzzles, people see a problem and they freeze. Even myself, occasionally, I'll be like, oh, what's going on? That's why I give yourself a little bit of a breather, take a step back. Yeah. Um, these puzzles uh, that GCHQ has set, right, for 11 to 18 year olds, look at your face. See, you think they're tough they're as well, tough. don't you? They're tough. But what I would say is these puzzles are intended to be potentially collaborative efforts. So students, maybe right. two to eight of them can work together. There's some that are numbery, some that are wordy, some that are visual, uh, some that are like linguistic. So I think there's something in it for everyone. So it's not just for the mathsy people. It was so nice that GCHQ gave breakfast viewers their very own puzzle. We can reveal it now. Um, if you don't want to know the answer, <laughs> kind of close your eyes, look away. Let's see if you got it right. So, clue one, a type of coffee. Decaf. Decaf. OK. Mm. Decaf. Clue to, two. Yeah, to, to make happy is the clue. That is... That was, a tricky, that was a tricky clue. You thought that was tricky? That was a tricky one. Yeah, I thought point. it was oh. cheer. Um, clue three should be becoming clearer if you have the first two answers, because it's the line that runs down the middle. So clue four, an island surrounding a lagoon. That's atoll. atoll. And clue five, cuts down. The answer is fells. Which I thought was chops. So if we got all those right, should we be able to guess the mystery word, which was... Carol. Obviously. <laughs> Obviously, it had to be. I mean, you can see, can't you, that you've just got to kind of go around with solutions. Because I was saying alternate words, you've just got to keep... Exactly. That's how, like, I would say the analytical brute force, where you've got different options. You might put down chops or fours, and eventually one of them will sort of slot into place. Good thing is, if you can make puzzles fun, because life is a puzzle. Exactly. Not to be too philosophical about it, but life's full of puzzles. I, I always think that like, life is... Not something to be solved, but to be enjoyed and experienced. And puzzles should be like that as well. Your enthusiasm always sells a puzzle. Thanks, Bobby. <laughs> Pleasure.